welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be covering why do cosmetic brands still use animal testing or why do they in general? So my name is Aquari Doyle. My purpose here on YouTube is to create animal related educational videos so that way me and my team can create our own animal rescue center here in the near future. So if you're interested in our animal loving journey, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you're notified when we post, whenever we post a new video. That was really hard to say. I'm kind of distracted because behind the camera is um, Figaro, we call him Pillow. So um, he's moving the stand for the phone. So that is why it's moving. Um, but yeah, check out the description. We have research for this video. Yes, we research for this video. Uh, despite the last video we researched for this one and we have links to donate to underneath that well After the Humane Society of the USA events page So that way you can see any events that are going on near you or upcoming virtual events if you're not comfortable with going outside in general right now because it is a hard time so Just keep yourself in mind so there's like two cats right in front of me on the windowsill because that's where I'm filming. It has the best like light, natural light, and my lighting system broke. Also, um, I'm going to be doing videos every single day, so it's going to be quite hard. But I figured that to get ourselves mostly out there right now is to post every single day to be very consistent. And three times a week plus a podcast isn't really enough for the world to see. So, yeah, that is why we're posting every single day from now on. Okay, um, as not always, but sometimes I like to start the video off with a quote. The reason why I like to do this is because it sums up what the topic is better than I could put it in words and plus... This is research based. It's none of my opinion or should not be. And if I do insert my opinion here and there, I will let you know from now on. Because um, my opinion, I don't want to get confused with the actual facts that I found from research. Um, so that way you know and you are knowledgeable about that. So I'm going to read this quote off of my piece of papers. When choosing to develop or use new untested ingredients in their cosmetic products, some companies will conduct new animal tests to assess the safety of these new ingredients. This practice is both unnecessary and inaccurate, and the HSUS, which is the Humane Society of the US, actively opposes the choice to un unnecessarily use animals in these cruel tests. And that was obviously from the humanesociety.org. Um, had to be in there somewhere. Humane Society is such a huge help when it comes to these um, topics. So you're going to see a lot of the Humane Society references and there's nothing wrong with that. They just show up every single time I have a question for my research and they're always there for that topic. They're just like, bam, I got you. Okay, so I kind of wrote this in a weird way where it wasn't really in order. So if I'm looking down, that is what my notes that I'm looking at. So that way I have something to go off of instead of my own opinion. Um, of course, I try to rehearse it, but it never goes the way that I want to. So just keep in mind that it's going to be a little crazy every time. So testing on, <laughs> testing on animals began in the 1940s and it began because people were suffering from products that weren't really tested and they were unsafe. Uh, and that is how people learned that they can test on animals before they risk human life for the product that they make. So that way, in turn, now we'll get to the present time, uh, they use these tests so that way they're not sued by any customers that have any issues they can say well it was tested on animals and we put it on the bottle and you should have read the bottle you should have read the warning um, we already have evidence that blah 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 blah. so it's just to protect themselves from getting sued basically so the 
main place that this is happening in is in China. And China is a humongous country just full of production that involves the US quite a bit. And the way that they personally uh, test is on animals and um, they have not strayed from that. Even when um, Europe banned animal testing in 2013 and um, a few countries actually followed that which is uh, India, Israel, Norway, and Switzerland. And they were kind of hoping that China would follow with them but that didn't end up happening. What happens with animal testing is that most of the time, well most of the time, sometimes, um, an animal, whether that being a rat, a guinea pig, a rabbit, um, are given a lethal dose of the product to consume to see uh, how much intake a person can have before they are killed. So basically they are killing an animal um, to test their product to see how long will it take for me to kill this animal for me to tell on the bottle this is how much you can consume or don't consume blah 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 that that's the type of um, mentality there when they're consuming there are different ways that they that different products are animal tested but none of them are great I'm just gonna let you know that now um, that is my opinion uh, that they are not great but I really want to say that it's just my human self talking Another way that products or companies that have products that they need to test on animals, they usually um, rub the product into the skin and to see how much damage it does. Um, usually when that happens, they leave it on up to two weeks to see what happens. Um, and usually what occurs is irritation um, and destroying the tissue basically because it's not a product that's supposed to be there. Sometimes, uh, let's say perfume companies because this is, they do do household products for animal testing but we're mainly focusing on cosmetic because that is like the main one right now. Um, uh, perfume companies, if they test on animals, they will spray it in the eyes to see if there is irritation or if there isn't irritation but how long until irritation, um, which can have irritation or it can lead to blindness for how much it's tested or if it's that um, unsafe then it will just lead to blindness just by one spray. Um, I mean, these are animals we're talking about, so it's not like they can really defend themselves or have a say in it. Um, it's also not banned in the U.S., which uh, I could ask why on so many different levels, but there would be people out there that I know, I know for a fact um, will defend these people till the very end, which I personally don't understand, but that is okay for you to have that opinion. So I, I just wanted to put that in there, that that is my opinion. Um, after the fact that I stated that it is not banned in the US, but it is not required for any company to go through animal testing um, in order for their product to be product to be published into society basically sorry so I have a quote from the FDA and I, I was curious to know if um, no what their say was basically and I'll read you the quote FDA says employ whatever testing is appropriate and effective for substan for sustaining no for substitute for substituting, for subs, substantating, 
That word is very difficult to uh, say for some reason. It's substantiating the safety of their products. So the FDA isn't, it was really confusing because they were going back and forth saying, well, we don't support it, but we don't uh, disagree with it either. But we know the acts in progress and we'll support them but we'll allow this to happen anyway. Um, but that's my personal take on it. It was very confusing to read because they kept on going back and forth, trying to agree with both sides so that way they didn't get in trouble or something. It just didn't make much sense in my opinion, but that is a quote that I got from them. And it just basically says, do whatever it has to take, basically. Employ wh whatever you have to do in order to get the product to be safe. For society and that includes animal testing so they are for animal testing even though they say that they aren't or trying not to i don't know that it just didn't really make much sense to me i just want to let you guys know in my opinion it didn't make much sense when i read it so what you can do is research and i can't say that enough in every single video do your own research. Research, research, research. You don't want to be supporting these brands that actually test on animals. And I have a few links down below where you can, um, how you can do your research and how you can tell. Um, but I'm going to list some brands that actually do test on animals and that way you can actually avoid them. And these are research-based, they're not my opinion. I'm not gonna call out brands for no reason, that's dumb. So, these were on multiple websites. They do test on animals. So, just keep that in mind from now on. If you decide to support them, even though you know this, that is your prerogative. Um, I'm not gonna stop you from that, like I said, um, a while ago, I should probably keep on saying this in every video. You're not, you don't have to follow what we say. It's just for educational use only. We're not telling you it's live or die, live or die, life or death. If you use our advice or not, it just, it's like a consideration. Like, hey, this is what's happening. Then maybe you should do this. And when we say should, it doesn't mean you have to. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. But here's some brands that you can avoid if you want to help out. And be sure you are supporting the brands that are vegan, are vegan, they don't have to be vegan, but are cruelty free. And I actually, work with a brand right now called Monet that's vegan and cruelty free um, and they're amazing and their hair products their cosmetics they don't really have much cosmetics they have skincare they have hair products they have um, all these holiday stuff going on right now and it's just so amazing that a uh, that a company can have so much stuff and be cruelty free and being vegan at the same time. It's just like mind blowing. Why can't all companies do that? You know? Um, but also there's Lush and H&M. They're both cruelty free. But here are some brands that are not cruel cruelty free. So I just want to repeat this. These brands that I'm about to say are not cruelty free. They test on animals in order to um, produce their product and put it out into to society. <laughs> okay, so we have Avino, Benefit Cosmetics, Bobbi Brown, Clean and Clear, Clinique, Estee Lauder, and there are so many more. I have this website, it's called cruelty-free-guide.com. Go to that website and look at all of the brands that you should be avoiding and just don't buy from them. Um, because in, in turn, you're supporting, uh, animal testing, animal cruelty. Um, obviously there's going to be people that are diehard, diehard fans. I'm so sorry about the dogs barking out there, but 
They're always lonely. They, their owners never take care of them. The yard is always full of poop. That's another video. I'm gonna talk to you about that. Um, but like I say, do your own research because you can trust people if you want on the internet. But the one person you should be trusting more is yourself. So the way that you can do that more is by doing your own research because then you're actually putting more action out there by yourself rather than taking my word for it. Um, of course, everything can be debatable. So yeah, that's basically the video. Uh, I just wanted to cover that. Um, animal testing is not banned in the US right now. There are uh, actions getting used in organizations, I have links down below, um, that are trying to get this banned in the US. They're trying their hardest, but for some reason, uh, the government is fighting it. Uh, they want it to keep on happening. And it, it's just crazy, but I, I believe it's because of how much business we have with China and how much they have animal testing there. So if we have products here that aren't cruelty free, then I don't know if that's a loophole. I don't really know. So that is the video. I'm going to end it here. My name is Aquari Doyle. My purpose here on YouTube is to create animal related educational videos so that my, me and my team can open up our very own animal rescue center. So if you're interested in that sort of animal loving journey, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications so that way you're notified whenever we post a new video. Check the description down below. It has my research for this video in general right down below you can see all those links and please if you have the time click on those links so that way you're educated as well um below that we have the humane society of the usa events page so that way you can see any events that are going on near you or if there's any virtual events that you're interested in just watching <laughs> and um under that we have the donation links so that way you can see any donation organization animal related organizations you could donate to. That was such a weird sentence, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, so yeah, that is the video. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and obviously so does my team. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.